like this. I thought perhaps it was a slug, maybe a decomposing rug, or some huge condom clogged with clag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A mad bacteriologist's dream where Bell End Borsan reigns supreme. And even bedbugs puke and gag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. The outside festers, and within, the inside grey as Major's skin. A quilted dustbin, or a rag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. No laundrette has crossed its path. Folk vomit in its aftermath. There's notebooks and a railway mag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. I'm sure there's one in Chippies as well. A camel's foreskin by compare smells sweeter than the alpine air. I'll tell you this, I'll never shag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. So we made it put it we may put it in the washing machine and I write a poem in solidarity with that washing machine. <laughs> Stung by these words so rudely bold, the protex old machine it's crawled. A scene too gruesome to be screened the day the sleeping bag was cleaned. Industrial agent was fetched. The traumatized appliance wretched. Inside a sewer slowly sloshed the day the sleeping bag was washed. A tidal wave of helmet brie. There's a concept for you, eh? I'm going to repeat that line. Just put a stick in your mind. A tidal wave of helmet breeze flowed festering towards the sea, and in it plague rats gaily preened the day the sleeping bag was cleaned. The feeted futon's foreskin fetter caused many an angry Greenpeace letter. First Exxon Valdez, now this, the day the hot point took the piss. And now the horrid thing is clean, and lilac smelling, and pristine. There's still no way I'll ever shag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. Thanks for listening, everyone. See you later. Good night. Oh! Good day. Another wonderful story.